All right, so uh, we're here with the multi-tool, the rebar, using it's basically three inches, 2.9 inch saw. We'll just see how it does on this piece of wood here. You know, if you only had a little fixed blade or something and you needed to go through a tree, or you just didn't have it and all you had was your multi-tool for the day, and you had to build a shelter or start a fire, you can see there, real nice. Nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the teeth on it go back and forth, so when I pull, it's cutting, when I push, it's cutting, which is great. So you're getting really good for the amount of energy you're gonna be expending, you're getting really good <clears throat> cutting length. Go all the way through, I could totally break it right now, but I'm gonna go all the way through here. There we go. Booyah! The rebar with its little saw is awesome as a little wilderness multi-tool. There's just something about a multi-tool that just gives you a sense of security and the knowledge of knowing that if a lot of things go wrong, you can take care of a lot of things. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today we are checking out the Leatherman Rebar. This is a sweet multi-tool, uh, USA made. We're going to be doing a field test today, so you'll see it in action cutting some cardboard, cutting some uh, wiring, using the screwdrivers. We're going to just use this thing instead of just talk about it. We're going to take it out on a camping trip, so you'll see some of the uh, other options that that you have when you purchase one of these and how they function out in the wilderness because uh, I do believe that this is going to be a great uh, you know wilderness survival multi-tool as well you know if you're looking for one to kind of throw in your backpack for backpacking trips or your bug out bag uh, or something like that you know that you might be out in the wilderness this would be a great multi-tool we're going to give you some basic specs here and then uh, we'll just jump right into it um, the overall length of this multi-tool when it's closed up is four inches, so really nice compact. Weighs in at 6.7 ounces, so nice and lightweight for what you get with this multi-tool. Uh, and then the blade lengths are 2.9 inches on the saw and then the two different uh, blades you get and some other things like that. Uh, it is made here in the USA, like I've said. Um, it is, the steels are 420 high carbon and then the teeth are 154 cm, which are replaceable and we'll talk about those uh, in a little bit, the teeth that are the cutters up there. So um, those are just some basic specs for you. Uh, let's go ahead, we're going to jump on into it by first just showing you um, one of many options that you get with um, the rebar when it comes to carrying it. This does not have a pocket clip or anything like that, which we'll talk about in a little bit. This one came with a leather sheath. This is a really nice quality leather sheath. This is made in Mexico. The, the Leatherman is made in America, but this is made in Mexico, but really good, thick, heavy duty, high quality uh, leather there. And we'll just kind of fold this little sucker up. You can purchase this also with a Molly compatible one with the black oxide. Uh, coating. This is obviously just the stainless and then you can also get it in just a normal nylon velcro type. Uh, I like the leather. It's classic. A nice strong button there. Leatherman stamped in there with a logo and then this is their belt loop right back here. Real nice thick belt loop that could fit really wide belts, you know, a tactical belt or something like that. And this is a pretty small package which is really nice. I'm actually really tempted to carry this on my hip from time to time uh, because uh, it's just not that big. You know, it's basically four inches uh, by about an inch and a half. So that's a pretty small little profile that you can carry on your belt. Really nice brass studs back there to hold it all in place. Good quality, uh, and you can easily replace these these ever wear out for about 10 bucks. Or if you don't like this one, you could get the Molly compatible one or the nylon one. So uh, that's the sheath options. Let's go ahead and jump on into the rest of the review of the Leatherman Rebar. All right, one of the best parts right out of the gate with this Leatherman Rebar is that it has replaceable teeth for the cutters right here. You can see there, you can have a little bolt and you remove it and on either side. Uh, these are made out of 154cm, really high quality steel. Uh, they have hard cutters and easy cutters is what they say. We're going to test it out here in just a second. Um, so uh, it's very easy to replace these and that's I think going to become part of the um, industry standard for multi-tools of all companies as time goes on because Leatherman's do it on about half their not um, multi-tools now and it just makes the, the lifetime use of 
of the Leatherman lasts a lot longer uh, and you can replace these for about 10 to $15 depending on the make and model uh, that you're purchasing. These rebars I believe go for about 10 bucks, Amazon, eBay, those type of places. So let's go ahead. We got some copper wiring here, uh, a neutral wire with uh, 12 gauge. So we'll just see how it uh, cuts. We've done lots of different cutting here. This is just kind of obviously is just an example. It's lasted out really well. I'm using the hard cutters right now. You got the soft cutters as well in the middle for more fine detailed stuff. If you need to cut, you know, really thin car wire, you know, maybe or something in your house, something like that. But this 12 gauge copper wire is no match uh, for this rebar. The one thing is that because it's not spring loaded, you kind of got to kick your hand down each time uh, you use it. You got to kind of use your pinky. You got to kind of clasp it like this and do that type of motion so you cut the wire and then it's click close and you got to kind of stretch it open with your pinky so just something to note there but uh, awesome cutters obviously all the different bolts you could open as well as the needle nose is just really lined up perfectly like we would know from Leatherman and uh, at 35 bucks I mean very very high quality pliers and uh, cutters wire cutters with your rebar so you also get the 2.9 inch hollow ground, very classic drop point design, 420 high carbon again, uh, blade, which is awesome because it has a lock back design. You can see here, this is the locking mechanism that blocks the blade. So when it's clicked down like that, there's a little bit of play, but it's definitely not going to collapse and close on you. So if you did have to do some really hard use with this little blade, you definitely could, about an eighth of an inch thick, really good ground on either side. So it's not a chisel ground, which is nice. Um, and then when you're ready to close it, you just kick that back, unlocks the blade, and then you can close and collapse your knife. It will cut through the, the cord as well pretty easily. There you go. So it will do it. The safety knife is easier at it. But uh, let's see how it also does with some cardboard and uh, wood cutting. Ooh, nice. So you can see that this rebar knife just goes right through that good thick cardboard really easily actually. Even better than some of my other pocket knives, doing a great job slicing through that cardboard. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely impressed with that. That is some good slicing. Got tape in there too on that cardboard. Uh, that's definitely able to do that with its uh, hollow grind. Very easy to cut through boxes, cardboard, that type of stuff. Uh, if you're rocking your rebar as your EDC blade and you just need to open some packaging. Great little blade for that type of stuff. So we're out here today on a little hiking trip and I got the rebar on me. This is what I think it really excels at. Uh, you can totally use it you know, around the house or at your job site or whatever, but uh, I think it's a great kind of uh, survival multi-tool and I'm just using the plain edge. You can see I can get some really nice fine shavings if I need to start a fire. So maybe I am rocking like a big old SE, you know, Hungalis or an Artac 2 or something. And then I'm, if I just happen to have this one with me, I can get all my little shaving done and other things like that very easily, razor sharp. And even with all this moisture around with that 420 high carbon, not really picking up any rust at all uh, with the rebar plain edge cutting instrument blade. Some other handy tools that come with the rebar is this nice file that is coarse and fine on either side and then it also has filing on the top and on the bottom so you can go through you know a nail if you needed to round off some wood uh, you know just do a lot of different stuff and it does have a lanyard hole attachment right here as well so if you wanted to do a lanyard and again all the tools have that lock back design which is great so they're not going to collapse under hard use and I would say that this is a, a medium duty uh, multi-tool you know it's not hard use like some of the other really big super tool and stuff like that from Leatherman, but uh, it's definitely you know above just the light duty stuff. And there's that lanyard, so you could easily run that through. You know, if you're carrying it in your gear or in your pack or something, and you just want a nice little paracord lanyard to grab and pull the the knife out. I mean, excuse me, the multi tool out. You could easily do that, as well as just want to touch base with. They do give you a seven inch ruler on either side. Adds up to seven inches, and uh, let's see here, 18 centimeters as well. Uh, so you can do some measuring. I've never found these to be very accurate, but uh, you know, you could use those on either side as well if you need to do some very minimal measuring with your rebar and it's really nice that they give you the 3d you know phillips head screwdriver bit there uh, it would have been even nicer to have the one that switches back and forth flathead um, or phillips 
and uh, maybe they could have filled one of those other less useful tools with one of those type of bits, but this is still a great 3D bit that you're gonna be able to do a lot of, you know, unscrewing or screwing in of different items with your screwdriver. And again, with that lockup design, it's not gonna collapse if I had to push really hard and I was trying to crank in, um, but you can see they're very quick. Feels comfortable in my hand too as I just spin it, you know, it's not clunky or weird. Basically just feels like a screwdriver, which is great. And there we go, we got our little screw out and then I'll just put it right back in. Again, gotta love that lockback design for all these tools so I can really crank on it if I have to and it's not gonna you know, fold underneath me like a Swiss Army knife would or something else like that. So 3D Phillips head screwdriver bit is awesome on the rebar. As well as your Phillips head screwdriver, you get three different size flatheads, all different sizes, real nice from small, medium, and large. Uh, really thick too, so you can do some prying. We popped open some paint cans and other things like that. And then they do give you a can opener as well with a bottle opener. So uh, those are the two other features that you get along with all the other ones that you've seen on the rebar. So it's really nice, multifunctional, particularly for screws of any type, either Phillips or flathead, uh, as well as some prying tasks. You can get, definitely get done with your rebar, can openers and bottles. You also get a 2.9 inch safety knife that you see here, fully serrated, uh, and it has the rounded edge up here so you wouldn't stab somebody if you're trying to get into a seat belt uh, or something like that, made out of 420 high carbon steel. And uh, good luck trying to resharpen those uh, serrations though. Pretty shallow, uh, which is good, so it's gonna slice really well through rope and you know nylon and that type of stuff, but very difficult to resharpen. And they are a chisel grind. In other words, sharpened on one side and then just flat over here on the other side. Hollow ground, 420 high carbon is what it's made out of, uh, which isn't you know a bad steel, uh, but it's not a good steel either. It's definitely on the budget end, you know, so it is gonna dull pretty quick with your cutting, but uh, let's go ahead and test it out. Cut and a little bit of nylon rope, see how it does with that. So you can see it just slices right through there, tears right through this heavy duty nylon cord. Very easy to do, very easy to go through something like this. Uh, so your seat belt, you know, whatever, it just saws right through there. Basically like a saw, but for nylon and man-made materials. So it is nice to have a serrated, fully serrated safety knife. If you, uh, the opportunity were to arise to use it, it would definitely come in handy. All right, everybody, so in conclusion, the Leatherman Rebar, I believe, is uh, just a total bang for your buck, totally worth it. Uh, you can get the leather sheath with the just satin finish that we see right here for about 35 bucks online amazon ebay and then you can get the black oxide coated one with the molly attachable for about 45 bucks uh totally worth it with the replaceable teeth and all the options you get great for a survival kit uh that's that's what this is going for this is now going to be in my survival kit when i go backpacking and hiking and doing all the blade testing we do here on the channel um but also around town just so many great options with this not too much that i can complain about the only complaint i have uh, that we've already kind of discussed is that when it's closed up, you can't access the knife and the saw. If you could do that, this would be an, a screaming deal in a home run. Um, I'll say that this is an eight out of 10. Uh, a great blade and particularly for the, I mean, excuse me, great multi-tool and particularly for the price, the Leatherman Rebar is a total home run. You should totally pick one up. Thanks for watching everybody. Stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.